Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosion with Jonas, your man on the stick. I have the stick. And we're playing Madden 19, Snuggle Buns. Snuggle Buns, indeed. Let's fucking get in here, Jonas. As always, we're playing offense only. We're simming that D. Simmed. Using that balanced playbook, they need to quit playing the traitor Trent Taylor. Oh, you gotta Son remember that. Bitch. Remember that face. It's gonna come oh, into play later in the season. He went to our goddamn rival. Who would he go? He went to our rival. Our divisional rival. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. So. Oakland Raiders. He plays on the Raiders. Son of a bitch. And he's we... the fourth best receiver because he sucks. <laughs> and they will pay the price oh, of gold. Oh, we're gonna BM the shit on him. Iron when we meet them in we the field of battle. BMing on him was easy. Yeah, they're done for. Oh, I can't wait. He may not even see the field, and we're going to make him pay. We're going to steal his kid's food so much. We're going to make all the money he stole from us because he's a, he's a thief. I didn't tell you this. Oh, I'm the that's owner. That's what we do, Jonas. Of course he's a thief. Trent Taylor stole the crack. <laughs> he stole from the crack reserves? He, yeah. <laughs> that's why I let him go, dude. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want you to change your ways about you it. Motherfucker. Stole our power stones. Yeah. <laughs> he took the infinity stones he's, from our he, coffers. He did. How Ooh, dare like he? He's all black uniforms. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at Kiki looking fabulous. Ooh, he's got his pink headband on <laughs> underneath there. Boom! Oh god. Kiki, you're safe here. Kiki is safe here. You're safe. He's I'm, safe in our team. He's safe in Austin, where our team is located. Austin that is, is true, man. Austin is friendly to yeah, everybody dude. except for stupid people. Yeah, man. There's, <laughs> a, lot of, there's a lot of those. Uh -huh. Jonas, I wanted to say minorities. I did. I wanted to say it, and I didn't say it. Wow, dude. <laughs> I wanted to say it, and I didn't. And I'm disappointed at myself. Oh, Gary fucking Harry. Oh, the fucking... Super Usain Bolt out there. God damn it. I didn't it. realize Usain Bolt played for the Chiefs. I didn't either. I like the Chiefs outfits too. Yeah, dude. They look nice. <laughs> Jonas, wow. We just shared a moment. Yeah, dude. I'm so happy I could share that with yeah, you. Yeah, dude. You know, Gary Harry's the only straight edge guy on our team. He, he's trying to convert people. This he is does. what I've heard. Mm -hmm. You know, like when people go to like prison and they become like a born again Christian? Uh, yeah. He's trying to turn the Desperados into born again straight edge men. Born again straight edge men? Yeah. How's that working him out for Kiki him? Him and Kiki got a coalition. Him and Kiki got a co the Kiki coalition. <laughs> the, 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 the Gary like Harry that. Kiki coalition. The Gar Hair. They got. The Gar Key. Okay. I'm looking for I'm going to tell you something. It's they got to me. Uh, Ellis to stop smoking rock. Good. Wait. For like three days. Jonas, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, but his button. Nobody smokes rock. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does it. <laughs> Nobody. That's what we call it in the Desperado <laughs> locker room. Thank you. So cracks. But, no, we call it cracks. We call there. we do call it cracks. Yeah. <laughs> but what happened was he had such bad fucking. Uh, I can't think of the word right now. Nope, you can't. I, and I don't know what it is. He's got such bad uh, crack Manners. addiction. <laughs> I got such bad crack addiction. He had uh, the thing that happens when you're addicted to something and you don't have it and you need it. And withdrawals? Withdrawals. <laughs> he, he almost... Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, I just, Jonas, just reboot the system. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> just reboot the system. He almost reboot the system, start it over. Tell you tell it over, Joe. You you have a second chance. I don't want one. No, you I have was it. it. Fine. No, <laughs> Sutton, I'm a glutton for Sutton. <laughs> he was telling it fine. All right. I'm a glutton for Sutton. <laughs> now you are. You're Wait, beautiful. He just, he just teleported. Oh, right, no. Thrash, okay, to start flailing thrash, around. Thrash, 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 thrash. <laughs> Didn't realize this was a flail worthy play, yeah, but apparently. He did. <laughs> Yeah, oh the coach is like, oh, my God, they just stole my child Swiss cake rolls. Swiss cake rolls. God, those Jones. are good. No, I don't care. I would steal them. You ever freeze those? 
You, you, we've had this discussion. We did an entire episode where I went through the entire Little Debbie catalog yes, Red, we for did. Red Dead Redemption. We did. We've done like 700 videos. We were on shit to talk about. You got to follow Red Dead <laughs> videos if you want to know about this. Sw- one of the 80. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Good luck. Find it. Anyway, let's, let's do them all. <laughs> Good luck. But fucking yeah, we are. So if you want to know what Jonas thinks about freezing Pop Tarts and shit, you go watch that bullshit. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, I saw it. I like I like the whole idea of us having like this this giant vault full of crack though. I do like that. I like the Scrooge McDuck <laughs> gold balloon thing. Yeah, <laughs> like swimming in crack. <laughs> I do like. They that. go bathe in the crack, dude. The cracks. Dude, do you know you'd probably get pretty fucked up if you just like dove into a a swimming pool of crack. Yes. Does it absorb through the skin? I imagine to some degree. Like, I don't know if it like absorbs through the skin or why is why? Why is why? Why ask why? Drink Bud Dry. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, the rainbow socks. Dude. He's doing it. They're beautiful. The Desperados have rainbow. Dude, they're in support of Kiki. <laughs> it's Kiki. Do you love me? Dude. We're wearing rainbow socks for your birthday. Everybody on the sideline did that because it's Kiki's birthday. Dude, today. that's awesome. I wonder if we're wearing a different helmet. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Are we wearing the goddamn Buccaneers helmets again? Oh, oh my Kiki. God. Oh, he saw the rainbow oh, support. Look at him. What's his sig? What's no, his sig? Te- oh, we're uh, doing a team? Oh, he yeah. Open a He's like, out of the way, bitches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just creeping into the crowd. Dude, the game is glitching out. A little bit. <laughs> That, that never happens. No, Madden is a great quality game. <laughs> it never fucks up, ever. So, yeah, everybody supports Kiki. I told you, you're safe here. He, <laughs> Kiki might as well. And he's in the closet still, you said. I mean, well, we talked about it. Yeah, well, he came out between episode one and two <laughs> wow. of the season. So, Jeez. <laughs> he's, he's definitely well-liked. Get out of here, Whoa. bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Be gone. Oh, shit. Ellis, he didn't fell us. Ellis, Ellis has a fellas. Whoa, Jonas, come on. What? <laughs> what? Made the first dick joke of the season. Was this the first one? That was the first one, Jonas. Wow. Congratulations. Woo! I was waiting for Where's it. Where's the dick trophy? <laughs> you you do. You get a trophy, except it's just a dildo on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> not even on a platform. It's not a fucking That's dinner your trophy. Plate. Yeah. That's and make nice. sure you keep it in your room. That's so high quality of you. I appreciate you doing that for me. A paper plate at a that. A paper plate. <laughs> Just a fucking double-ended dong on a fucking half-used paper plate. No, I was thinking like the one with the suction cup to end the bottom of oh, it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it sticks to the plate. So it sticks. It doesn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't stick to paper. It would if you like Vaseline the plate up a little bit. If you get some Vaseline up paper, it becomes a pliable service. You, you wanted to know the methods, man. It's not all beautiful in the butcher shop, all right? But you don't have a problem eating the burger. That's all I'm here to say. There's too much meat in the burger. Dude, what would you say? I wouldn't. Wow. Never mind then. No, no. Ask your question, Jonas. Don't don't get offended, Jonas. You know I'm, I'm dismissing. What, what I was you... going to say, what is your favorite difference in our personality? <laughs> <laughs> what is my favorite what, difference? What, are you, what is your number one the difference? The fuck is this marriage counselor ass <laughs> bullshit that you're trying to spit I just at to me? I throw out a, a sincere question to you <laughs> to see what you would say. We already did the thing where we said one nice thing about each oh, other. Yeah, we did say that. <laughs> that was on one of the videos. Go back and find that one, too. Oh, my God, Jonas. Uh, I asked the series. Me, what the let me ask you. No, I want to answer the first question. All right, fine, then. Ask, wow. No, ask the second one while I'm thinking of an answer. Since you're the question I'm not, oh, jockey but, tonight. Oh, we slid right through the butt. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> I don't know what else you're doing. Have one. you ever chopped lumber? I have, Jonas. Like, you actually, like, cut wood to put oh, in a furnace? Oh, my fucking. So, yeah, let me, it might as well. Let me get into this one. <laughs> when I was living with, uh, we'll say, Drewis in, P- in PA, he did not have central air. He had his own house, 
asked me to come move with him. I did. I lived with him for about five years. He did not have central air oh, or heating of any type. Or heat? No. It was his own house. Did he have was... a wood-burning furnace? Yes. My grandparents had one of them, and there was a blower. He had to keep it going. So in the middle of a winter in the fucking snow belt, <laughs> right off the coast of Lake Erie. Kiki loves him. <laughs> Kiki, oh shit, go girl! It's a bad bitch birthday. <laughs> it's a bad bitch birthday. Anyway, so fucking bad bitch birthday. Yeah, so we would be in the backyard chopping wood in the snow. I've been out there for four hours chopping wood, lugging wood in throughout the house. Dude, man. my grandparents piling it up had a, a house like that. Yeah, and they they had to use propane for like a they had a real furnace. They had propane, but they didn't use propane yeah. all the time because it's expensive to use propane. So they would have a truck deliver wood, and I'd throw it in their basement, and then they would stack it up in the basement, and they would. So yeah, but you never, you never did it. Just, I never had to chop it myself, though. No. You never had to start a fire either. Huh? It was always I was little, so I would just go down and throw wood in the furnace for him. See, and that's the thing. It's like we did, he didn't even have a furnace. He had a stove that was it was like a wood fire wood burning stove that was in the living room. Oh, like it was like night or seventeen twenty three in that day. Yeah. Bitch. Oh my yeah. god, dude. I would like, wake up in the morning sometimes, and this is like I. I chose. I knew what I was getting into. Yeah, right, right. I wake up in the morning sometimes freezing cold because it gets cold. Well, yeah, no shit. Especially, and we were like, especially in that part of Pennsylvania, dude. Yeah, and we were literally like three minutes from the coast. It was like <laughs> you could have walked to the coast in five minutes. Oh, God, dude. So it was cold. Oh, yeah, freezing, man. And you got to like literally start a fire. Like, here you First go. thing in the morning. Good morning. Start a fire. Yeah, start. Did you see him? Hey, I know you're freezing. You're wrapped in a blanket and a house coat or a robe. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuzzy slippers. That's heavy the reason socks. to wear a robe. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think they made them for? Like... If it's I cold get, in your house? Yeah, but like most homes have heat. You don't get cold. You wake up, it's warm in the house. Yeah, it does seem like robes are kind of going out of style. Yeah, like in like the 20s, it was great. You have your corn cob pipe, you walk out and get the paper. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. Wow, I didn't realize that you were a lumberjack. Yeah, man, I've done it. I've been there. Chopping wood. That's where. That's why I always say I used to stand outside of his door with an axe in my hand. If he ever hears this, I used to stand outside of his bedroom door with an axe in my hand and contemplate how my life could change. Like if you if you took that. Like yeah, it could just go be going from me like going to work, leading a normal life to now I'm on the run from the police. Well, you wouldn't be on the run long. What? Goodness, you don't, apparently you don't know my ability. Ah! Jonas. I hit the wrong button, dude. I hit the wrong button. <clears throat> but apparently you don't know my prowess on police evading. I evade guess. I guess I don't. I've played a lot of GTA. <laughs> and Yeah, uh, but you murder the cops in that one. I mean, hey, look, man. You gotta when do what they you kill do. you, you get to come back to life. Jonas, I can just avoid the spike strips. Oh, that's... Get to the airport, and it's good. And steal a plane and fly it. <laughs> like, just like any other criminal. Exactly. Said. I got you. I'll just go to the gun shop. Yeah, pick up a gun real fast. I'll just spray paint my car a different color. Yeah, you'll just take it to the chop shop. Yeah, and they'll never figure it out. Oh, there's no interference? None. Call your mother. A travesty just happened. <laughs> Why would she? What was she going to do about it? My mother's in law enforcement. That's a lie. <laughs> she my would do something about it. My mother's in law enforcement. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea for a sitcom. Cop mom. Cop mom. <laughs> oh, like Jesus Christ. That. I like that. Oh, Jonas. My Jesus God. Jonas. Jonas. They're fucking hunting me down like Red October. All right, Jonas, you know what? No more jokes. We're not losing. We can't even <laughs> vote it when we're winning. You oh, gotta I'm get sorry. Me. I want to press the button, you Jones. Gotta, you got to get me some scoops. You got to remind me to scoop it. Can we press the button? We are kind of losing, aren't we? No, we're not. We're right, by fine. seven, dude. Yeah. They're actually fighting back, though. May I call you Logan Weapon oh. X? No. Ooh. That was an X-Men <laughs> quote, Jonas. His last name is Logan. Good for you. Yeah, so, wow. So you, like... Had to like chop wood and shit, huh? I saw Aquaman this weekend. Yeah, I did chop wood. Yeah, Jason Momoa had a shirt off the whole time. It was surprisingly better than I thought it would be. I liked it more than Spider Man and Spider Verse. All right. So, you would you rather lather up Jason Momoa? 
<laughs> okay. No, I'm no, I'm on board so or, far. This is a no face. I'm uh, unfazed. Or uh, <laughs> Danny DeVito. Jonas, this isn't like the whole key is that I'm supposed to have a difficult choice here. <laughs> Danny DeVito, obviously. <laughs> yes, he's a fucking legend, Jonas. I guarantee you Danny DeVito has more money than Jason Momoa. Uh, probably. And plus, I would feel less homosexual lathering <laughs> up Danny DeVito By for some reason. rubbing down the man who is weird looking. Yeah, I feel like if I was the, just... The cut ass and fucking yeah, cake. Like. Exactly. <laughs> like, I feel if I did Jason Momoa, like, I would start to be like, hey, you know, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Ooh, he's really, like, he's really fucking firm like, everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, hey, my dude, you work out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like you'd rather like rub down like a normal dude than like a big buff ass cut dude that like you might like it might move a little and you're like oh shit am I have to question my leg <laughs> yes yeah, dude I can't have it jumping <laughs> that's the thing yeah, oh my so god I guess you're, oh shit this totally reminds me Gary Harry straight edge to the rescue so I was watching this uh, documentary mm -hmm. with my girlfriend this weekend mm -hmm. and it was Jonas, about this like Jonas this we get it you have sex. <laughs> <laughs> we get I was it. watching this documentary, and it was about like this guy who like it was these two families, and one of uh, and like they became good friends, and the guy from the one family ended up abducting like the girl. He was like in, he was a pedophile. He was in love with the, their their child, and like abducted her and stuff. Mm. Uh, it was weird because the girl wanted to go. She swore she loved him all stuff, but the, mm. the even weirder part about it is they oh, were uh, Mormons. Mormons. Mormon. And like, mm -hmm. so what the guy did, oh my God, Ellis, get out of his neck. Um, so Ellis, not Ellis, this guy, mm -hmm. he, uh, he like seduced the mom to like, to try to like get in with the family or whatever. And like, it worked and he, they fooled around or whatever. And they sh had the mom talk and she's like, yeah, and he seduced me and we fooled around, blah, blah, blah. So then they talked to the dad and the dad's like, and I went, I went with him this one time, and you know he was complaining to me about how his marriage was failing, and he was talking to me about how he, how he needed, he needed sex, and he needed a release, and and he pulled over and he asked me, he goes, he asked me to take care of him for him, and he goes, he goes, you know, it's just kid stuff, and he goes, so I did it. And I was like, wait, wait, your buddy just like asked you to jerk him off, and you're like. All right, that's cool. No worries. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so he seduced the dad and the mom, and then and, stole the child. And the child, yeah. But I actually, I read that story on Reddit myself, man. <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I was just, I, that was like the crazy. funniest. Like, I'm not a homosexual, but my buddy was like, "Hey, you know, it's kid stuff. Can you release me?" So I just released him. Can you release me? <laughs> that'd be like we. That'd be like me and you were driving somewhere, and you're like, "Oh, Joe, why you got?" Put us into it. <laughs> Jonas, I really need you to release Why, why would I it's be the kid, one asking? It's kid stuff, you know? Why am I automatically <laughs> the one asking in this scenario? <laughs> it's an example. It, it's no, not, it's, it's it seems like a fucking targeted example. A <laughs> targeted. <laughs> oh, Gary, Harry, might as well be releasing people. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> releasing of so, people. So, like, I just thought that was really weird because it was so casual. Well, he talked about it so casually. He was what? just like, <laughs> he was just like, you know, I need some release. Why don't you help me out? And I was like, okay. I don't like how we're just the word release has lost all meaning. <laughs> I don't like how we're calling it release. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way he he described it, he was just releasing him into Dude, the wild. Dude, he didn't release him. He jerked him off. <laughs> yeah, he definitely educated. <laughs> He fucking, he, he fucking jerked him off, dude. He hudged him all night long. <laughs> so it was really weird, needless to say. That's fucking, that is a little weird, man. Yeah, dude, I don't, like, no one I heard ever he was ask me, like, hey, can you just take care of me real quick? And I'd nah. be like, no. Nah. What the fucking fucking reveal? I guess. Ooh, it's Gary Harry's time to shine. <laughs> I'm just going to clip into that other boy for a little while and then run over here. Nah, dude. <laughs> I heard the guy that. At, that got HJ. He was like really attractive, and that had something to do with it. Uh, that guy, like, they said he was like if from the documentary that he was like a super charmer, and like, yeah, he yeah. like was like he wasn't like they showed pictures of him. He didn't look that attractive. Like he didn't. He wasn't like a model looking dude. You wouldn't have fucked him. <laughs> no, dude, I would have passed on that one. Wondering. You no, wouldn't have like, jerked him off. Either? But I guess <laughs> <laughs> now, if you would ask me really nicely and told me it was kid stuff. <laughs> Like he told, kid stuff. And that was like the weirdest part. He was like, "Yeah, he just told me gone." Oh, he like dipped and dodged and landed on his neck. That yeah. was like, 
He's like, you know, it's kid stuff. And I'm like, kid stuff? How? Yeah, like, that's not going to be like, it's kid stuff. Well, you know what? Oh, okay. Since, then. since you put it like that. So, yeah. Oh, if, you were, if it was adult things, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> but since it's kid stuff, it's just reindeer games. Kid stuff. Yeah, it was weird, dude. That whole documentary, <laughs> like, it got just kept getting weirder and weirder as fucking it went on. It was. I mean, I, from. Oh, the, I'm a glutton for Sutton. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, shit. What the fuck was that haymaker? Ooh, he just wanted to make him feel pain. <laughs> Holy shit. He punched your maid down and <laughs> took her hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> he was like, You're, I killed your servant, so you have to do it yourself now. <laughs> Jonah, but. Uh, I forget what I was going to say, Jonas. It was on my head. It was there. Well. Oh, if you're jerking off dudes, even even if you're married, you've got to, like, have that in you a little bit. Yeah, like, he must have already had it's, homosexual tendencies, like, because, like... Or bisexual, Well, well that was my point. Like, no one I know could be like, hey, can you can you take me out and J-H Jamie real fast? And nothing would make me go, oh, okay, if I didn't already like guys. Or have an affinity for the male form. Yeah, I think that would be covered by liking guys. No. <laughs> There's Futa and fucking dick girls and all kinds of stuff Futa out there. Futa and the dick girls. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, you probably wouldn't. <laughs> well, I guess I'm glad I don't know what it means. <laughs> don't go on the internet, man. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that says dick girl doesn't <laughs> seem to be right up my Jones, alley. Uh, Kiki, do you love me? Oh, man. What's he going to do? Oh, yeah, girl. Pink Cadillac. <laughs> 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 we'll have some drinks right here. Oh, shit. But yeah, man, like, I don't know. I need to get some scoops out real quick. Yeah, you got to get some scoops out, Jones. Just don't don't go on the internet, man. I'm not. Never I never, go I'm there. never again going on the internet. I ever. can teach you about so much weird fucking shit that there is out there. I don't need you to teach the me The kids, about man. The kids. Vor. Yif. Uh, I, we told me about, like, waifus uh, uh, or whatever, go. like, anime people that like have like anime wives or something yeah and you know what anime was a mistake <laughs> I fucking like I creating said it. it period i said it man it was a mistake like creating it ever yeah man a little bit wow yeah That's a pretty broad statement you just <laughs> lost something over that i watched i have watched every episode of naruto <laughs> dragon ball z one punch man uh samurai champloo you know any of those? No. Okay. I've heard, I've heard of them. I've watched Dragon Ball Z before because it used to be on like WUAB after like yes. something I watched. Sailor Moon. I've watched every episode I've seen of that. Sail- I mean, I've seen. I've never watched Ronin Warriors. The, the, all of it. Power Rangers, which is basically anime. It's live action. It's, it's American anime. Yeah. And so it was a mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's all right, man. Why? Because it makes people do things. Yeah, because, are- man, it just opened up this Pandora's box of weird sex shit. Like, because as soon as you get you like that. if there wasn't anime to open up that box, something else would open we up that box. We weren't out here just, like, mass producing, like, that fucking weird anime porn shit out here. Oh, God. In America. <laughs> in America. And now there's this fucking, like. There's a million. It's yeah. Is that control? Like yeah, it's easier man. than ever to make animation, so everybody's just making porn with it. Is that yeah. What well, I mean, like they make like real porn, like ancillaries to it, though. I don't what? know, man. How weird was porn before the internet? Do you remember porn before the internet? Um. Yeah, I guess so. Do you remember having you had a magazine under your sticky magazine, you <laughs> little pervert? <laughs> you had a sticky magazine on your... When yeah. I was in junior high school, uh, there was a kid I knew, and one day, so he was walking home from school, and these uh, like two guys drove by him and yelled something at him and threw a fucking like, Hustler magazine at him, and it hit him, Hustler. and it landed like in the snow in front of him, and then like his mom found it. it. It found out he had it because his younger sister started talking about, like... Big, big purple penises around her, and like, and then oh, oddly fuck. enough, that girl turned out to be a lesbian. Is this? Is this are you sure this is your friend and not you? <laughs> that I'm a lesbian now? <laughs> no, dude, I don't have a sister. <laughs> but I uh, know it was really weird. That's funny that you said that. I was just like, yeah, that's pretty weird. fucked up. You, yeah. you, you didn't have a sticky magazine. 
I mean, like, I had Playboys, I guess. Like, There it is, Jonas. I had, like, I what a, boy didn't have a Playboy magazine, like, in the 80s or the 90s? I don't know, man. I had a Hustler, and that thing was, like, my goddamn Bible when oh, I was like, <laughs> that thing. Wow. I would wake up every morning and fucking <laughs> read. <laughs> read, read the articles. Hey, every what are you? Every morning, I would wake up. I'd read so many stories. I was definitely. Oh, the butt just threw him to the ground. Reading the curves on Cynthia. Reading Miss October or whatever the fuck her name was. I remember that bitch. She. <laughs> That fucking hustler was the greatest thing ever. You like created. you still have fucking like memories of it. And you know, it's fun. I never did until I sat here right now, and then I thought about. It. I was like, yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, and then I had like this weird one that had like a bunch of seventies girls in it. Seventies girls? Yeah, dude. Like yeah, in their seventies, dude. When you're like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were oh, all, they were all... Jesus. <laughs> okay. Just see, just, that's the just, shit right there. Just that's that clarifying weird... <laughs> for the audience what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it was like from the seven, the nineteen seventies. Oh my god! Did you see it? Oh, <laughs> just making sure. Oh, Maybe yeah. it was seventies chicks or chicks in their seventies. <laughs> Depends how you say it. One or the other. <laughs> but yeah, it was. Uh, that one was that one was weird, but I used it. I used it. Well, you know. But when you're that age, I was when you're like 12, 13 years right, old, yeah. it's whatever you can get your fucking hands on. Well, it wasn't as prevalent. I mean, you couldn't just like turn on your computer, go to Disney's website, click four links, and you're on a porn site. Exactly. Like, it's like no matter what nowadays, like everything like links to like you can it ends up on porn on the internet. Like, Basically, ooh, yeah. the Douglas, well deserved Douglas, right there. Like I don't even think I knew what real porn was until I was like almost out of high school. Like real porn, like not like just a magazine, like, like Bang Bros. No, no, like a, like an actual porn video. Like I don't no. think I ever saw one until I was like close to being out of high school. Because it was like, where the fuck would I have got it as a child? Like now yeah. you can just turn on the fucking internet and you're like, boom, there it yeah, is. Yeah, that's true. I never did have like a video. Well, where are you gonna buy it? You can't buy it as like a 14 year old boy. Yeah, but you think somebody would have hooked you up? <laughs> they just have like those. It's like you go to the liquor store and say, "Hey, can you buy me my friend's beer?" Like, "Hey, dude, we buy us a fucking you your three bros." You know, sit guess, around and watch a porn. I guess video. now. I guess now that you mention it, we shouldn't like be out there handing out porn to the. No, youth. you should not. <laughs> it's probably a bad look true. for an adult to do. Yes. So. Like, I think buying a child beer is more acceptable than buying them a porno magazine or a porno movie. <laughs> Oddly enough. What? I don't know. One of them is illegal, Jonas. Uh, they're both illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. On that note, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, lie to your friends and tell them they should watch us, too. But for Jonas, mm -hmm. for TNT Dynamite, mm -hmm. we... Are. Oh. Oh.